Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Wednesday, April 3rd. A solid state battery developer in China has unveiled a new cell that could help change the game for electric mobility. The vehicle grade lithium batteries offer twice the density of other cells. Thailand New Energy is a private solid state battery developer founded in Beijing. The company has achieved several technological breakthroughs in both energy density and storage capacity, enabling a new prototype cell that could very soon power passenger EVs longer distances. The prototype solid state lithium metal cells have yielded 120 amp hours with an energy density of 720 watt hours per kilogram more than double other cells currently being integrated into passenger EVs, which could reshape the mobility landscape. Thailand said the new battery is expected to fundamentally solve problems of battery life and safety anxiety that come with traditional lithium ion batteries. These high capacity batteries could even make electric planes a possibility. The largest earthquake to hit Taiwan this century rattled the entire island overnight collapsing buildings, damaging roads, and shutting down train and subway services. However, Gogolo's electric scooters quickly picked up the slack, providing a key accessibility transportation option and offering free rides in the most populated areas. Traffic along the east coast was at a standstill after the earthquake, with landslides and falling debris closing tunnels and highways. Train service was suspended across the island, as was the subway service in Taipei. But scooters can still navigate past standstill traffic like the island saw, as well as navigate narrow but passable sections of damaged roads. At a time when train, subway, and bus services were cut off, scooters became a lifeline for those needing access to quick transportation. Gogoro, the largest electric scooter maker in Taiwan and operator of a massive distributed battery swapping network, uses their batteries as emergency backups to around 20% of traffic lights in Taipei keeping them running during massive power outages. Thousands of such battery swapping stations dot the island, each holding dozen or hundreds of swappable batteries. Riders simply roll up, swap their partially depleted batteries for freshly charged batteries, and then roll out in seconds. The company reported that its GO station network never ceased operations throughout the earthquake and its aftermath. They also opened up their network of shared electric scooters to provide free rides to residents of Taipei and New Taipei City, while the area regained metro operations. BYD launched the new Seagull EV in China last month with an ultra-affordable starting price of $9,700. Despite the affordable price tag, BYD's Seagull does not feel like a cheap EV. It exceeds quality and reliability expectations. After launching the Seagull in Brazil at a price of $20,000, BYD's EV could land in the UK as the cheapest EV on the market. BYD's stated plan is to make electric cars accessible to everyone, and right now, lower prices are its main priority. BYD aims to expand in the UK with plans to reach 60 dealerships by the summer, up from 21 currently. The expansion would extend BYD's footprint to England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. BYD sold over 300,000 fully electric vehicles globally in Q1, up 13% over last year. BYD's low-cost EVs are promoting automakers to shift plans as they look to prevent falling further behind. Meanwhile, BYD's next-gen platform could slash costs even further, which could put even more pressure on automakers to respond. Tesla is launching 0% loans in China as a new incentive amid losing market share in the area. China is the world's biggest EV market, and Tesla has been having some issues here, as their market share dropped from 10.5% to around 6.7% throughout 2023. 2024 didn't start much better as Tesla reported its Q1's results yesterday, confirming that the global deliveries shrunk for the first time in years. Now, Tesla is looking to get some momentum in China by introducing a new limited-time 0% interest loan program. It applies to both the Model 3 and Model Y. However, it requires a significant $11,000 down payment. It will be interesting to see just how impactful this new initiative will be. New competition has put pressure on Tesla demand, especially in China. Ford is starting 2024 off strong with EV sales up 86% throughout the first three months selling 20,223 EVs in total. Commercial customers are gravitating towards all-electric options, with Ford Pro EV adoption rising by over 40%. EVs are seeing higher demand as now governments and small businesses are going electric. Ford's EV sales surged after the company drastically reduced prices earlier this year. 
Despite EV sales climbing, Ford is pulling back on several EV initiatives as well as delaying $12 billion in EV investments. The move comes as overseas rivals continue gaining market share in the US. Hyundai had its best first quarter ever after EV sales surged 100% in March. The Ioniq 5 set a new sales record with 6,822 units sold in Q1. Meanwhile, Tesla held its lead by a wide margin. Despite missing estimates, Tesla still delivered 386,810 EVs in Q1, enough to top BYD and take back the best-selling EV maker title. In today's community comment found on YouTube, somebody mentioned that there is still a lot of market out there for EV companies like Tesla to grow into and that most of the world still hasn't transitioned to EVs. Well, that is true, and it's probably why companies like BYD see their competition as being ICE cars and not other electric car companies. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Steven, and have a great day.